South Africa's consumer confidence saw a slight improvement in the second quarter of 2024, attributed to reduced power outages and lower fuel and food prices. Although concern lingered due to uncertainties surrounding national elections, the FNB VR Consumer Confidence Index increased to minus 12 from minus 15. Furthermore, despite the dull consumer spending growth in recent times, the uptick in sentiment and lower inflation are expected to drive real household consumption in the upcoming months. Analysts anticipate a potential boost in high income confidence for the third quarter, conjugant upon political stability and market performance. FNB Chief Economist Mamelo Nguenam shares further insights. The FNB BR Consumer Confidence Index edged up further to negative 12 in the second quarter of 2024 after having improved from negative 17 to negative 15 index points in the first quarter of 2024. The increase in Consumer Confidence Index during the second quarter of 2024 can be ascribed to a further improvement in the Economic Outlook Sub-Index and a slight increase in the sub-index measuring the appropriateness of the present time to buy durable goods such as vehicle furniture and household appliances. A breakdown of the Consumer Confidence Index per household income group shows that the slight improvement in overall confidence was driven by an uptick in the confidence levels of middle and low income households. However, the confidence levels of high income households remained unchanged during the second quarter. Positive developments such as the pause of load shedding during the second quarter, substantial cuts in fuel prices in June, a 20 rand increase in the SRD grant from April, and a significant deceleration in food inflation likely buoyed confidence levels, particularly among low and middle income consumers. However, high interest rates and uncertainty over which parties would form part of South Africa's government of national unity probably kept the lid on high income confidence, provided that the GME remains intact and the JSC and the RAND exchange rate hold on to their recent gains, there is scope for an improvement in high income confidence during the third quarter.